how to change a color of the object in Affinity Designer. That all depends on which object you want to modify. That's why I have prepared four examples here. As you can see here on the layer section, each layer got a different symbol. This is text, image, raster image, curve, and a shape, a star. All right, so if you got a simple vector shape, click on it, and you can just select a new color from the color section on the right. It's the easiest case scenario. You can, of course, add additional color as, as, as the stroke color. So just click on this ring, modify the thickness of the stroke, and you are all good to go. For the curve like that, we do not use a fill color. If you add the fill color, you will get like weird results because it's not a closed shape. So let's stay away from that. But we can freely modify a stroke color that will kind of follow the line. So this is just a line. We can, of course, change the thickness of the line in the stroke panel. Text. Text is rather similar because it's also vector based. So you just apply a text color from here. And you can, of course, apply a stroke color if you like as well. And for the text and the shape, you don't need to just stick with the fill color like that. You can also change it to gradient as well. And this way you can have a smooth transition between two colors. So just grab gradient tool, fill it with gradient, just like that. Okay, so that was the easy part. And some people like to know how to change the color of the raster object. So that's not really the main purpose of using designer. Designer is for vector editing, what I just showed you, but there's a little trick we can use for the raster images. I cannot just select the new color from the list here because it will override the general color of the image. So you have this mono color like that. Some of you may actually want that. So if you want simply kind of overlay over the colors, put like color over overlay on it, you can try that, but that's not ideal. Let's undo. Instead, we're going to head to layer, then new adjustments and search for this one, HSL, hue, saturation, luminosity. And from here, we can just move this top slider that will modify the colors, but not override them completely. Right now, I'm doing this for all of the colors, so the result is a bit weird, but we can do it just for reds. So I can modify the hue of the red color. And as you can see, by selecting different colors and modifying them slightly, we can actually recolor this image, even if it's just raster. We can change colors, like right now I'm changing blues and I can change the skirt and the clouds and this without like changing the color of the face. So if you are smart with this adjustment, you can recolor your raster image as well. All right. So I show you four different ways of changing colors of the object because there are different types of objects in designer. I hope this was helpful. I will see you in the next one.